Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your PayPal account with Magento. And really, I haven't done a video on this, however, it's really simple. So, uh, all you have to do is go to System, Configuration, and this is if you want your PayPal account to accept payments as a PayPal account, as in uh, your customers will see PayPal on your site. They will be linked to either PayPal site or uh, they'll be asked to log in if they have their own PayPal account already, but if not, they can just use it as a credit card processor. Just so you know, this is not uh, PayPal uh, payments pro or any of those things uh, because I you have to pay for those accounts and I don't have one so it's really hard for me to show that however I have set it up before for clients I just uh, wouldn't be comfortable using their uh, websites for these videos however it's not too difficult most of these payment systems are really easy to set up and in fact to set up PayPal uh, they really make it as easy as possible so I'm gonna get started here by entering my email and this is the email I have hooked up with my uh, PayPal account. Okay. And if you'll notice, now that I have my email in here, it's allowing me to check this Express Checkout, which of course is the one that I want because it's the free one. So I'm going to click Express Checkout. And now you can see it's open this Express Checkout uh, settings already for me. And so we could just even remove this title, just say PayPal. You know, they don't need to know it's PayPal Express or whatever. And uh, because this is the only payment I'm going to accept, it's going to be zero. It's going to be first on the list, uh, even though I might have some other payment methods set up for this site currently. Uh, when it launches, I probably am only going to accept PayPal. Well, when it launches, if it launches, it's never going to launch. But fictionally, if this were to launch, I would want PayPal. So debug mode allows you to just test the site. Uh, we might as well send it to debug mode because I personally do not want anything charged to my PayPal account uh, or anything in this demo setup. So I'm going to set it to demo mode. So most of these other settings, you're not going to need to touch. This transfer shipping options, it even explains what it is. It's saying that PayPal can handle up to 10 shipping options. This is why Magento will only transfer the first 10 cheapest options yeah, I, I don't even have 10 shipping options. It's it's fine. So let's see, keep seeing what we have. Shortcut on shopping cart, sure. Uh, shortcut on product view, sure. Uh, actually, we don't want the shortcut on product view because this is going to put an ugly PayPal button on our on our products, which I'd rather not have. Enable PayPal guest checkout. This is if your users want to just pay without a PayPal account. I think that's perfectly perfectly acceptable. I don't see why you'd make them use a PayPal account. I personally don't even like PayPal as a company that much, so I will probably check that it's no, so they won't be committed to be using PayPal for everything. Or So it's saying this required customer billing address. It's saying this actually needs to be enabled through uh, PayPal technical support, so I'm not going to worry about that. I don't even need that anyways. Uh, billing agreement sign up. No, I don't need a billing agreement. Uh, and authorization honor period three days sure these these defaults are all probably going to be fine okay so uh, as you can see these are the paypal settings simply by putting my email in here this is where it's going to send the payments so as you can see it's not really that that complicated um do we want this paypal a group billing agreement i'm gonna say no and let's click through this and let's go to these front end experience settings. And so it's going to say, do you want this PayPal logo somewhere on your site? And honestly, I don't. I mean, some people are going to want this big old, we prefer, we accept PayPal logo to let your client customers know. But really, I don't, I don't want to gaudy up my site with a bunch of PayPal logos and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and select no logo. And we should be good to go here. And this is going to show you exactly how easy it is to set up PayPal with Magento. Okay, configuration's been saved. Now let's go to the front end of our site. And let's put something in our cart if we don't already. Let's go to... Okay, and I'm going to add just this phone to my cart. This one is on sale. And let's go to my cart. So you'll notice there's this check out with PayPal button here. Now we can click this and it's going to redirect us to PayPal with the amount that we're going to purchase this for. Now, of course, I'm not going to go through with this transaction, but you can see uh, if I were to, this amount would be getting paid to the account that you have set up with this. 
Um, and that's really cool because it took us no time to set up. What happens if you proceed to check out instead of go with the pay with PayPal? I'm gonna check out as a guest and I'm gonna enter my information. So one second. All right, I'm selecting my shipping and we'll see what our options are here. We'll check it out. There's also PayPal right here. So um, in, the, in the configuration, we told the uh, PayPal buttons to show up on the shopping cart. And if you don't want those there, um, this shortcut on shopping cart, you can select no, and it might make it a little less confusing for your customers, because uh, you can see if we click this, it's still gonna redirect them to the PayPal site, just like it would if they went into the checkout. It was just, uh, well, <laughs> it's, it's actually mad at me right now because I threw in some bogus information for my shipping address. So PayPal is going to be privy to that and it's going to notice. So I thought I could get away with it, but clearly it is knowing that my information is completely false. So this is how you set up PayPal. It's really simple. And you'll notice now that I unchecked that box that our pay with PayPal is gone here and the proceed with checkout is just like normal again. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter, level up tuts, let us know what you're thinking. As always, this is Scott and thanks for watching.